We get picked for the upcoming World Cup qualifiers against Peru and Venezuela, which we will be taking. Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome back to another episode of the My Player Career Mode series. I know it has been a while since the previous episode, but all I can say is that I'm kind of burnt out, you know, from playing FIFA 17. I mean, FIFA 18 is just around the corner. And yeah, FIFA 18 kind of bores me right now. I can't really help it, man. We're just a couple of weeks away from FIFA 18. And also, I'll be discussing the future of this series, so stay tuned for that. I'll definitely be needing your advice, your comments, because... Yeah, I'm in two minds right now. If you guys are enjoying the series, make sure to drop a like on this video. Let's smash out 200 likes. That would be awesome. And if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 17. And obviously, FIFA 18 content in the very near future. Now, talking about the future of this series, as you guys know, FIFA 18 comes out in a couple of weeks. And also, we don't really have the time to end this series. At least, I think I don't have the time. I might be able to, you know, fit in all episodes in like a couple of weeks, but that will be a lot of work and I really need to start planning out my content for FIFA 18. For those of you guys who don't know what I'm going to be uploading for FIFA 18, just go to my channel page. There will be a My Plans for FIFA 18 video. You can have a look at that. But right now, I'm not decided what to do with this series. Should I just end it? Because we've achieved what we had to, you know, winning La Liga, winning the Copa del Rey, a Champions League final. We've achieved a lot in this series. And the thing is, I'm kind of bored of FIFA 17, so I don't really know what to do to whether to continue this series or not. I know some of you guys do still enjoy this series, so I need your help help let me know down in the comment section below what we should do should we continue this series or should we just end it because i'll get more time to plan out my stuff for fifa 18 and obviously some free time before fifa 18 before the grind begins which will definitely be helpful i'm obviously leaning towards um ending the series and just you know taking a break i won't be taking a break exactly i'll still be uploading every other day but maybe other stuff maybe related to fifa 18 and yeah but again, it's up to you guys to decide. Let me know in the comment section. As we do score a goal in the FIFA World Cup qualifiers, as you guys know in the previous episode, at the end of it, we got picked for the upcoming qualifiers. The first game being against Peru and the second one against Venezuela. We get picked for this one. A really nice finish there from Santiago Lopez. And because, well, I wanted to get as much gameplay as possible in every single episode. And, and also I wanted it to be entertaining. So what I decided to do is play with the entire team instead of just my pro. I hope you guys don't mind that. It's the end of FIFA, so it shouldn't be much of a problem. I'm not going to try and ball hog Santiago. I'm going to try and play around the team. And obviously a lot of you guys do complain that I just pass the ball to Santiago and usually just take runs with him. But that will change if I play with the entire team. As Santiago Lopez scores another goal. Both of his goals had a lot of fortune to it because, well, the first goal took a nasty um, yeah, deflection from one of the defenders. And this one as well. Poor defending though. We do get the win against Peru. We get subbed off for a change. I've never seen that happening. So that was interesting against Peru. We got subbed off. The game ended 3-1 and I was the man of the match for that, which is obviously awesome we don't get picked for this one against venezuela so i am going to be simulating this one as we do get through this game again talking about the future of this series i honestly i think we've achieved what we had to achieve with this series so ending it isn't going to be like ending it on a cliffhanger or something like that and i really need time to focus on my fifa 18 stuff because i'm going to be doing a lot of stuff ultimate team career mode the journey and I need to get the thumbnails and all sorted. So it would be helpful if you guys wouldn't have a problem with me ending this series. But again, if you guys still want this, you know what? If you guys smash out like 250 likes or something, I'll definitely continue the series. I know that's asking a lot, but I'll need that kind of support to actually motivate me to actually play FIFA 17. Because FIFA 17 just frustrates me now. We now play against West Ham in the Premier League. Our last three Premier League games have not been good, but luckily... We do pick up a goal as Rafinha scores after a great assist from Felipe Coutinho. As I said, our Premier League form has been horrible as Valencia does equalise. So, 1-0 is how this game ends. And if you've noticed, the highlights in this game or highlights in this episode have been toned down massively. So, I'm going to try and get through, speed through as many games as I can. So, if we do end up continuing the series, we can actually finish it. Because I don't want to end the series on a cliffhanger, especially if we get to, to you know, like... A Premier League finale or a, of course, a Champions League, not the Champions League, the Europa League final. So, yeah. But now we do simulate this one against Braga. 
and we do get a win, a convincing win as well, which is obviously nice. A 5-0 win. We've now got Newcastle in the Premier League and I really want to get a win for the team in this one. Why? Because our last four Premier League games have all been draws. We've got to pick up some form or else things won't be looking good. Play controlling the team, as I said, I'm going to be playing as the entire team. That could give my player a chance to score and also show the other players' his ability. And it's the end of FIFA, so it shouldn't really matter much. Apart from that, I'm still playing on Legendary, so you guys need to keep that in mind. It's still very difficult to uh, create chances and score. But first chance for Liverpool in this one, and it was a brilliant chance as Coutinho goes down inside the box after some brilliant build-up play. And then we get a penalty, and guess who's going to be taking this penalty? None other than our man, Santiago Lopez. His penalty gets saved, but on the rebound, he got lucky there, and he did score. To be fair, all the three goals he scored in this episode have had a lot of fortune to it. So, you know what, I really don't care, because last episode we couldn't score a single goal in three games. We hit the post as well, but thank God in this episode we've scored three goals already. Two with Argentina. And one with, of course, Liverpool as Rafinha scrambles somehow, gets ahead of the defender and puts his leg and gets the goal. So 2-0 is how this one ends against Newcastle. So finally, after four Premier League games, we get ourselves a win as obviously the ref, not the ref, the coach subs me off in the 76th minute. And well, it wasn't one of my best performances, but I still get a match rating of 7.6, which is nice. And before we get into our next game, I forgot to show you this. The Argentina media are finally praising me for my performances, which is brilliant. Of course, I scored a couple of goals for Argentina and now for Liverpool. So the Argentine media is happy, which is obviously fantastic to see. We've now got Birmingham, which I did simulate. We did win that game, although it was a difficult one. But I can't really be playing games like that. I want to stay fit for all the big Premier League games. And as you can see, we are now 87 rated, which is crazy. With the fact, the fact that we are only 22 and I'm 87 rated as Santiago Lopez is 87. That is actually pretty awesome. Jordan Henderson gets himself injured, which isn't good. He's going to be out for a couple of months. Uh, that isn't good news at all. He's been a good midfielder. And as you would have noticed, Liverpool's midfield in this career mode is absolutely tragic. We'll have a look at the midfield in the next game, in the next lineup of the next game. What am I saying? But anyways, can Coutinho change his fortunes? He hasn't scored in like 10 games. How crazy is that? He's 90 rated. Can he score in this one? Hopefully so. And as you can see, look at this midfield. It's actually embarrassing with the you know quality of the team we are in. Liverpool, obviously. And this is the midfield they're fielding. I don't know what to say. Hopefully it won't cost us this game. It has cost us a lot throughout the season because this midfield just lacks creativity. Anyways, Bournemouth away from home and the first chance does fall to us as the ball falls to Billing. I don't even know who he is. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to know. But Phil Coutinho goes past one with the Berber spin and then finesses the ball into the top right corner. That is the only goal of this game. But Felipe Coutinho finally breaks his duck. And in the 60th minute, Klopp subs me out, which, um, I don't know why he did that, because I think I was having a good game, but nevertheless, he subs me off, but the rating doesn't show that I had a good game, but I think I was passing the ball around pretty well, but anyways, he did, he did sub me off, so there you go. We do simulate this one against Vitesse, because I don't want to be playing the Europa League games, at least for now, definitely I'll be playing the um, latter stages of that competition, where the games will actually matter. And now we've got the Merseyside derby. And as it's a derby and it's against Everton, I'll be showing you guys the entire highlights instead of just the goals. And let me know if you guys don't mind this format of me recording videos, you know, just showing you guys the highlights in terms of just the goals because or else we won't be able to finish the series. And again, if you want this series to continue, let me know in the comments section. I need your feedback. I need your comments because right now I'm in two minds. And as you can see, just before we get into this one against Everton, Argentina FA announced squad for FIFA World Cup qualifiers. The funny thing is we were just playing qualifiers like uh, in this episode itself. And that's just showing you that we're making a ton of progress in this series to try and wrap it up before the start of FIFA 18. As I said, if you guys want to have a look at what career modes, what uh, journey and all that kind of stuff that I'm going to be doing in FIFA 18, link to my channel. I mean, my channel page. Just go to my channel page and have a look at my videos. You will see a My Plans for FIFA 18 video. Click on that, have a look at it, comment and let me know what are your thoughts on that. Now time for the Merseyside Derby. A lot of players aren't fully fit, 
which isn't good news but let's hope it doesn't cost us but I guess it did as Everton were looking the better side in the early moments 14th minute a good cross from one of the Everton plays luckily for us they couldn't score from that but now Diogo Jota fun fact he was my first inform that I packed an ultimate team so that's pretty cool he has an opportunity to score but Karius comes up with a big save and then we've got a counter attack as Coutinho plays me through fantastic vision there from Phil Coutinho to find me I cut inside with the Berber spin and I let it fly with my right foot but didn't really have the accuracy to you know put it into the corners and yeah a chance wasted in the 27th minute I go for a finesse shot but um, I guess I shouldn't be showing you guys that clip because it was terrible. A terrible attempt there from Santiago Lopez. And now Diego Jota plays it right into Seamus Coleman. It's now someone called Gerard, probably a region or something. Diego Jota with a massive opportunity to put Everton into the lead. But a huge save there from Cardias. Maybe one last chance in the 75th minute for Everton to get something. Diego Jota holds on to the ball well, puts in an amazing cross. Matip luckily is there to clear it for us and that is how this game comes to an end. A very poor performance I guess I would say because we didn't really have the best of chances like a few chances from me here and there but apart from that nothing really. I get a match rating of 6.5 which definitely isn't good. I've got to be performing better than that and my first Merseyside derby ends in a goalless draw which I don't think is good but let's forget all that. Just relax, just chill out in my apartment. As you guys know we purchased this in I think the previous episode, in fact the first episode if I'm not wrong of this new season but anyways just chilling in the apartment then I decided you know what I don't have a car so why not just get a sexy ass car because well it's kind of unrealistic that we've won La Liga, we've achieved a lot at Atletico, we've earned a lot of money and we don't really have a car so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to order this Furor GT, I don't know um, what's the equivalent to it in real life, it looks like a Nissan and GT but anyways I'm going to be ordering it in red, guess why? Because I'm a Liverpool player, so makes sense keeping it red. So let's order this one. It's kind of expensive, close towards $450,000, but let's go. We've got ourselves a car, and I'll show you guys that car in the next episode. But the media is now hitting out at Santiago Lopez for his poor performances lately, which I think we've got to agree. Santiago Lopez needs to up his level because... So far, he hasn't been performing for Liverpool, at least in comparison to the way he was performing for Atletico Madrid, scoring goals left, right and centre, La Liga top scorer, La Liga player of the year. But anyways, we'll continue Santiago Lopez's story in the next episode, but let me know if you guys want this series to continue, if you're still enjoying it, even though FIFA 18 is around the corner and FIFA 17 is as dead as it can get. But anyways, drop a like on this video. If you guys can smash out 200 likes, that'd be great. Follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the channel. Subscribe if you are new around here. And I will see you guys soon for more content on this channel.